Governor Troy Lynch and Troy, they have the wine, but we need to know what else is happening with this event. So much is happening, guys, and it's going to be a fantastic night. It's going to be Friday and Saturday night. Saturday night is going to be the main event, but I'm joined here by Joy Matlock, who basically just runs thing here. What's your What's your official title again? Marketing and Development Director. That's right. All right. Well, she knows all things that are going on, but, you know, Joy, I got to ask you, how wild are these wines supposed to get in this event? They are pretty wild, and we have plenty of wines. Um, on our main event night, which is Saturday, we'll have over 200 wines um, on the, the VIP night. Friday we'll have about 50 wines higher end premium wines but what's particular and special about wild wines is that all of our wines are hand selected and curated by Jonathan Looney who's the owner of O Looney's uh, um, wine store here in Little Rock has been the owner there for 20 plus years he is a certified sommelier so he in other words knows what he's talking about <laughs> yeah. and uh, hand selects each of the wines that we're gonna have each night so we are very very lucky so the people who come uh, to wild wines are not just having a, a normal wine tasting right. they're having uh, wines that have been selected and thoughtfully paired um, for the evening and so we're excited about that so you're able to drink some wine and also see some animals at the same time exactly um, we're gonna have some animals out Saturday night a little bit later than normal so people can walk around and see those animals in their habitats and then we'll also have animal ambassadors the little animals that can be handheld and walked around by our um, zoo staff to talk about the animals and teach the, the people a little bit more about the animals too. Uh, I love everything about this so how uh, if you haven't already like bought tickets or something like that where do you go to, to find something like that? LittleRockZoo.com and we have a, a, an event page right there that you can click on there and get information for tickets and all questions that you have for the night, the types of vendors that will be there, the restaurants, the wines, that those information is there. Awesome. And, you know, we kind of discussed a little bit more. It's not just wine tasting. There's going to be so much more. Joy and Troy, we're going to be back later on in the show, and we're going to be talking about some of these paintings that the animals painted themselves. Yes, they're not just animals. They're artists. All right, we're going to be talking about this a little bit more in the show. Uh, so I'll send things back to you guys. Yeah, very uh, lucky assignment here this morning. Our very own Troy Lynn out there at the Little Rock Zoo right now. What type of animals we talking about? We're going to see this weekend, Troy. Man, DJ, we're talking about so many different animals and not just being able to see these animals. We're seeing how talented they are. Joy and Troy, we're back here with you today. And so there's actually a live auction going on as we speak. So you can go to the Little Rock Zoo website right now mm -hmm. and you can get some paintings right. made by these animals? Exactly. So we've got a link to our uh, silent auction that's going on right now. And it'll be throughout the weekend. Several things that you can get, but one of the highlights, and lots of people enjoy the fact that we have animals who are talented, like you've noticed. Um, so we've got a couple paintings here just for people to see what's available. This was done by Collie, our um, sloth bear. This one was done by Mayhem, our brand new uh, northern ground hornbill animal that we have who came to us from uh, Florida. And then this one was done by our brand new tiger, yeah. Jaya. Yeah. This is by Jaya, the tiger we just got in February. And this is the year of the tiger, right. which is one of the uh, the themes that we have here at the zoo for this year. And also will be the logo on our souvenir glasses that we'll see later on in another segment. But Jaya did this one. so A talented one. tiger. Yes. Jeez Louise. And this is another one that was done by Babe, who's one of our three elephant girls. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the paintings. It's not just for fun, but they do have fun while they do them. Sure. But it's enriching for them, and uh, enrichment for us means that they're, the animals are receiving exercise, they're receiving mental stimulation, they're receiving all of the things that they need to, to give them a healthy life. Mm -hmm. And especially for our geriatric elephants, um, it keeps them in motion, it keeps them happy. Um, they're food motivated, so they get treats when they do that. And so it's it's fun for them. It creates a bond between them and the zookeeper. So they're there's lots of great things that come out of just this, and not just a great painting, but it's great for them as well. So um, these are some of the items you can get. We also have trips. We have um, we have baskets from different vendors, uh, Dillard's, things like that. Um, trips to uh, New York, trips, uh, wine tasting, so many things. So please go to our website, see what's out there, and get a chance to, to bid on some action. Yeah, start bidding on these. Yeah, once again, this is not done by professional human artists. They're professional animal artists, and uh, Babe is very very talented. We're going to still be talking about wild wine and uh, all of the other events going on here at the Little Rock Zoo. That's going to be coming up later in the show, but I'll send things back to you. That's yeah, abstract. All right, Troy, thanks so much. Well, other ones like the tigers and stuff, don't be drinking that wine trying to get in the cage. Disclaimer.
Yeah, there are some rules, and you should not do that, Hillary. Uh, just a good thing to remember going into it. But yes, we've talked a little bit about the beverages you can drink. We talked a little bit about the uh, the live auction. You can buy paintings from these animals. But Joy and Troy back together. <laughs> but now we're going to be talking about some of the food that will be at this event. So what kind of food are we talking? We are talking about lots of great food. Um, we'll have food vendors on both Friday and Saturday nights. Mm. Um, one of the highlights will be the Highland Dairy team that comes every year. People love that part of the event and look forward to it every year. We'll also have restaurants like Trios, like So's, uh, Soulfish. We'll have Authors. We'll have Community Bakery. We'll have Loblolly Creamery. We'll have so many things to choose from. American Pie Pizza. So from your Italian food to American food, it will be available for you. So if you're hungry, come hungry. Come ready to drink because there'll be plenty of things to eat and drink here at Wild Wines. Uh, you're making me hungry <laughs> right now. I mean, I, it just sounds like you can eat literally all the types of food, which is great. So where are you going to be able to eat? Where exactly is this um, going to be held? So on Friday night, um, we'll be here at the Little Rock Zoo, and the food vendors are typically um, in the pavilion area and some scattered throughout the zoo. Um, that's the VIP night. That's Friday night. Okay, cool. um, Saturday, um, we plan to be here at the zoo, but we are paying attention to the weather, so we may have a contingency plan if okay. if it does begin to rain. We will definitely let people who've purchased tickets already know where that next venue is if we have if, to make that decision. Um, but we'll definitely have food vendors wherever we are on Saturday night. So, like I said, come hungry because there'll be plenty to nosh. Oh, oh, well, I'm I'm excited about that. We love noshing here. Yeah. All right, so wild wines. You gotta. We're gonna have wine, food, art, animals. Uh, fantastic. Joy and Troy. Uh, we'll maybe see you one more time, or maybe. All right, if you're lucky. Okay, so you're gonna have to come back. All right, I'll send things back to you guys. What an event. What more could you ask for? Right. I know. One more look with Wild Troy Lynch, who's out there right now Troy at the zoo with uh, talking about all these type of animals. You know, we were curious if you see any mongooses out there. <laughs> uh, no mongooses out here, at least not yet, DJ. Uh, but I'll definitely let you know uh, if there are. That would be wild, which is this night that is going to be happening Friday and Saturday night. And, of course, the main reason it's all going on is the wine. So what kind of wine are we talking about, Joy? We've got reds. We've got whites. We'll have Cabernets. We'll have Sauvignon Blanc. Um, we'll have Pinot Noir. But the great thing about that is that Jonathan Looney, who's the owner of Own Leanies, has hand-selected each of the wines that will be featured Friday night and Saturday night. He is a certified sommelier, so wow. the Little Rock Zoo is completely lucky to have had Own Leanies. Um, support this event as our beverage sponsor since the beginning of the event. So um, it, if you like red, if you like white, if you don't know what you like, that's mm -hmm. what it's for. It's for you to sample and for you to get a chance to taste from A to Z um, here at the zoo. So we're excited to have people out again. Um, and not only that, we've talked about the food as well. So yeah. you can sip and dine. It's going to be a wonderful time. Um, and when you come, yes. can we please look at yes. This? This so these amazing. are the souvenir glasses that that we're going to have for each of the nights. I believe this is the uh, the wine glass that is for Saturday night. Okay. I think this is the one that's for Friday night. Ooh. But um, what's great about these is that it has our logo on there for the Little Rock Zoo Year of the Tiger. Love the tiger. And it's got the Olooney's uh, logo on the back, who's our beverage sponsor. So. Uh, yeah. So I'm a wine novice, but I'm pretty sure this is a rare white. Yes, wine? it's a rare white. It's yes. actually a Highland Dairy. Milk. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, Highland, it's the morning show. Yes, we can't, exactly. We can't get too wild right now. So, again, we're thankful for Highland Dairy, who's also been a sponsor of uh, Wild Wines and a sponsor of the zoo um, for several years. Wow. And they will be here that, with their uh, cooking team. Yeah. So. Well, look, take a good look at that logo. All right. Wild Wines here at the Little Rock Zoo. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> to Wild Wines. <laughs> It's delicious. Cheers. Mm. Start your morning off right. Old Wines at the Little Rock Zoo is back and bigger and better than ever. And Fox 16's Troy Lynch is there this morning with a preview. Good morning, Troy. Yeah, good morning, guys. Yes, we're talking about Wild Wines here at the Little Rock Zoo. Such a fantastic event. It's going on Friday and Saturday night. Not just wine. they got food. They've got art painted by some animals. We're going to get into that a little bit later, but we got to talk about the wine. Sure. Joy. 
You're the director of marketing and development here, so you know everything. <laughs> Maybe. How wild are these wines going to be? It's going to be pretty amazing. You can come here if, if you're a true diehard red fan, if you're a true diehard white fan, if you like your Rieslings or your Cabernet Sauvignon, or if you like your Pinot Noir. It doesn't matter. It's going to be here. Um, Friday night, we'll have 50 of our premium higher-end wines. Mm. Um, and on Saturday night, we'll have 200 wines to choose from. Wow. Um, but we're not just going to have wine just for wine's sake. These wines have been hand-picked, hand-selected, curated by Jonathan Looney of O. Looney's uh, Wine Store in here in West Little Rock. Um, he is a sommelier, so that means he's been trained, he's been highly trained on the different uh, types of wines, the varietals, and so he hand-selects each of the wines that are here every year. O. Looney's has supported this event since day one. Um, so. Like I said, if you don't know what you like, if you know what you like, come. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have opportunity to, to try whatever you want. So these are the wine glasses that and we have. so you're only able to get these wine glasses if you come to the event, right? Exactly. These are souvenir glasses, and so only yeah, if you come. Get a close-up of these. Yeah. These are nice. Only if you come to the event, either Friday or Saturday night, I believe that this is the uh, uh, Friday night glass for the VIP night, and I believe this is the night, uh, the main event glass for Saturday night, but you can only get them if you come to the event. Okay. And um, so a nice keepsake, um, hopefully that will hold a lot of memories from coming to the city. Oh, I think so. I think we should make a memory right now, uh, Joy. Might as, we should oh, take a sip. We should. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. To Wild Wines. Wild wine. This is actually Big Red Soda. Okay, it's not yes. really wine. It's 7 a.m., guys. Come on. <laughs> That's strong. Yeah. Wow. I'll send things back to you. <laughs> you better look out. But it's upping the fun with its Wild Wines Night. Fox 16's Troy Lynch is at the Little Rock Zoo right now. Troy, what animals and types of wines can people see this weekend? Lots of types of wine, lots of types of animals. I'm joined by Joy and Greg and also a very special guest, Betty White, the penguin. Uh, you know, I'm always super curious about penguins. First of all, this is her uh, TV debut, so she's a little <laughs> nervous. She doesn't like to talk. <laughs> Got a little nibble. But she does <laughs> like to eat. She does like to eat. So what, what does Betty eat on a daily basis? That's an awesome question. So here at the zoo, we feed our African black footed penguins two different kinds of fish. You might want to take over a little bit. <laughs> Not that shy. Um, but she eats capelin, which is a smaller fish, kind of like anchovies or sardines, and then heron, which is a tiny bit bigger. Um, out in the wild, they would not actually eat capelin. It's not in their normal ocean that they live in, and they do commonly like to eat sardines and anchovies. But because humans, some humans, not me personally, I don't know about y'all, but some humans do like to put them maybe on pizza or something like that, eat them out of a can. Um, they are actually being overfished for human cons consumption. Oh, okay. So we don't want to add to that here at the zoo, so we use capeling as a substitute instead. And there's actually something really cool that we can all do to make sure we're not taking a lot of fish from the wild. Uh, Monterey Bay Aquarium out in California actually puts out an app called Seafood Watch. And you can download the app on your smartphone, and it'll tell you if the fish that you want to get at a grocery store or restaurant is actually sustainable sustainably sourced, okay. which means it's either farm-raised, so it's not actually coming from the wild population, or it is sustainably caught out in the wild, so they're not pulling too much from the population that's out there. All right. Mm -hmm. well, interesting stuff there. Right? Interesting diet for these uh, African penguins, but okay, real quick, Joy, we need to know what food is going to be available for wild wines. So, unfortunately, no sardines. At least, no. I don't think those are on the menu. <laughs> However, um, American Pie Pizza will be here. Trio, Soulfish, So, um, uh, Loblolly, Lolly. Creamery, community bakery. We're going to have lots of varieties of food. So definitely you can come and sip because that's the whole reason for Wild Wines, but you can definitely come and eat as well. So making sure that you uh, get your palate taken care of both ways. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, Betty, you got to uh, toss us back to the studio, okay? Back to you. <laughs> Boston, I mean. <laughs> Wild Wines at the Little Rock Zoo. It's back and bigger and better than ever. Fox 16's Troy Lynch is there at the zoo this morning, monkeying around. Good morning, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a lot of that, Pat. You're absolutely right. But yeah, check out Roo. Uh, this is a king speckled snake. Am I right, Greg? Yes, speckled king snake, whichever way oh, you want to put it. Okay, I already got that wrong. I forgot my line. Okay, but she is fantastic. So smooth and uh, gentle. Yes, so Rue here actually did just shed her skin. Very common thing that snakes do at least once a year. Um, as they get older, it does slow down because snakes, when they shed their skin, they actually do grow the entire time. So Rue here, we think, is probably only about seven or eight years, so kind of younger. They can live into their 20s. Oh, so 
she sheds probably a couple times, maybe closer to four or five times a year we've noticed since we've had her, uh, which is more often than some of our other snakes, but it really helps them. It's kind of almost like their version of a haircut, obviously. Sure. They don't have hair like we do, but it's their way to grow um, new scales in, right. have them protect beggar, you know, in case they got damaged from anything while they were moving around, while they were eating anything out in the wild. Super important so that they can move around super well since they don't have those legs. Well, either. she looks fantastic. And I also heard that, you know, after they're done shedding, they also do some paintings. And I know other animals, they do paintings yes. here too. These are really talented animals. And uh, you're going to be auctioning off some of these paintings? For sure. So we've got several of our animals who do paintings. Some of our bears, our snakes, some of our penguins, like we've just met Betty White. Mm -hmm. And in fact, um, some of our elephants do paintings. Babe uh, did a painting. And we are correct. We will be auctioning these off. Um, we've got a silent auction happening right now. It's on our website. So littlerockzoo.com. You can get to the link. There's several paintings there, um, some by Jaya, our tiger. We've got some by some of our sloth bears already, like I mentioned. Um, lots of artists here at the zoo. And it's not just fun or, or not just uh, uh, something that we do just because. It's actually enriching to the animals. It gives them mental stimulation, gives them exercise. It also creates a bond between the animal and the keeper to be able to do that. And, and we get a nice painting at the end. So it's something that's great for them and, and good for us as well. So, yeah. so if you're interested in owning one of these, you can go to littlerockzoo.com get to that link and start to bid. Yeah, you don't have to bid. I'm going to buy it, all right? <laughs> so you, you don't have to worry about that. All right, Rue, uh, you want to say let's go back to the studio? He has nothing Rue to say. I going to uh, help us out there. Upping the fun with its Wild Wines Night. Box 16's at Troy Lynch is at the Little Rock Zoo. And Troy, what do you have now? Now we have Miguel the Armadillo, and this is actually one of the, hey buddy, this is one of the many creatures that we're going to see at Wild Wines at the Little Rock Zoo tomorrow night. So Miguel's going to be here, uh, and he is adorable. Yes, so he's going to be in this cart around the zoo um, tomorrow night at Wild, our VIP night for Wild Wines. He's a three-year-old, three-banded armadillo, so they're normally found down in South America. Now we do have armadillos here, but they're nine-banded ones, so they are actually bigger than them. You may see them a lot. Sadly, a lot of the times we do actually see them on the side of the road because they do fall victim to cars. So something we always like to talk about is make sure you're not throwing out any trash from your cars when you're driving around because it can attract small animals like this, which then can attract birds of prey that can also get hit by cars too. So personally for me, I like to keep a little trash bag in my car with me so I can just make sure I keep everything in there with me so nothing like that ever happens. You can see Miguel has lots of energy, so he's going to be on the move the entire time tomorrow night if you do come see him as well. Oh, my gosh. Well, yes, Miguel is amazing, and I can tell you that firsthand. But there are also some other amazing things that we're going to have at Wild Wines tomorrow night, including live music. That's right, Oh, Julie? yeah. So we'll have the Rodney Block Con Collective. We'll have Christina Mateo. We'll have lots of live entertainment throughout the two nights of Wild Wines. The 29th is yep. VIP night. The 30th is main event. Um, you can get tickets at littlerockzoo.com. And so we would love to have everyone come out to sip and to dine and to enjoy meeting some of these animals up front in, in person. Awesome. Okay, so how much are the tickets? So our Friday night tickets, which is VIP night, are 175 The great thing about those tickets is that they get you in both Friday and Saturday. And then if you only want to come on Saturday, those tickets are $85. And again, littlerockzoo.com is where you can find information on how to purchase. Okay, well, so make sure you do that. And now, before I send it back, Miguel, you want to say bye, buddy? Back to you guys. <laughs> what 